thoughts uh, tonight's game? Um, I thought the, the first half, um, you know, defensively, we weren't uh, quite as good as um, we're capable of being. And um, you have to give um, Barry a lot of credit. I thought they came in and they, um, they played a good basketball game. They, they had a good first half. I thought the second half um, we defended a lot better. And, um, you know, the first half uh, we gave up 35 points. Second half we gave up 19 points. And that was the difference in the basketball game. Uh, I thought our defensive effort, uh, our defensive intensity uh, picked up in the second half, and we were able to get out into transition and, and score. Do you feel like once you know, once you did get running, your athletic ability kind of you, know, you had you had the guns. You guys were running the gun, and you hit those dunks, and you just get on the open floor. Yeah, it's um, you know what what I'm trying to um, you know teach our team is that a fast break isn't always fast, and um, you know we have uh, numbers out in the open court, and it's a matter of. Um, you know, executing and, and finding a, the, the right person uh, to make sure that he can make the play. Uh, but consequently, sometimes um, I think we'll have numbers, and as opposed to being patient uh, in the fast break situation, um, we kind of get a little too excited. Consequently, we'll end up taking a bad shot or even having a turnover. Uh, but those are things I think we'll get better at. Coach, what did you say to them at the half? Um, I just told them to, to trust the things that we believe in. Um, you know, we, we practice every day, um, and we need to just get back to playing the way we practice. And if we play the way we practice, um, we can be a pretty good basketball team. But when we deviate from the things that we practice every day, um, then we're not that good. Uh, I th I thought he um, you know he played well but um, you know I, this may sound kind of strange uh, but you know the the rebounding effort that Marvin Roberts turned in tonight um, you know even though I I thought I was probably more impressed with hit with his game than anybody's game because he was really struggling offensively he did not have a good offensive game going. Uh, but he found a way to contribute to the team. And, um, you know, for, for a score to do that, uh, that's big because you, most of the time a, a guy who scores the basketball is the way Marvin likes to score. They, they don't play the rest of the game. But I thought, um, you know, the way he rebounded the basketball, he ended up with eight rebounds tonight. Um, but he didn't have a good offensive game. But uh, those rebounds were very important. I thought we had um, I thought we had a couple of defensive stops that that really uh, changed the momentum of the game, uh, and consequently um, uh, the payoff was a was a dunk or or a layup. But uh, I thought the defensive effort, the defensive in intensity, uh, where we really were able to to shut them down in the second half. That's what really. Uh, you know, gave us control of the game. I mean, we went from uh, five down uh, in the first half to to winning the game by you know 15 points, and that was strictly on the defensive side. Did, did Eric get stitches? I believe he will get stitches. He will. Okay. Um, the I mean, you, you guys had turnovers and the, and the rebound. It, it over. I guess it made up for the shooting at 421. I think from three. Or what went wrong tonight there? You're not going to shoot well every night. I mean, some nights the, you, you, you're not going to shoot it well. Uh, but the thing that you can always do well is defend. And, um, you know, when you're not shooting it well and you're not having a good offensive game, uh, your defense can always carry you. And if your offense kicks in, uh, well, we had a few moments tonight where our offense kicked in, uh, then you're able to pull away and, you know, win the game by 15. But for the most part, um, you know, offense comes and goes but the defense remains constant. Is that a message that we would take with them uh, going into Thursday that, you know, these are the home games you have this year? Yeah, we're, we're not going to win. We're not going to, you know, just run up and down and outscore Florida State. Um, the only way we're going to have a chance at winning the basketball game is to try to, to play smart defensively. Do you consider starting Juwan at all, or do you like him coming off the bench right now? I like the energy he uh, gives us off the bench. Um, 
You know, he gives us a nice spark off the bench. Um, you know, I think he's comfortable with that role. Yeah, Ruben has a little bit. Uh, is it tough to challenge Chris Smith and Kobe as far as their team and how one of the best players in the conference? One of the better players in the ACC conference. And, and what, you know, the thing that I'm preaching now is defense, and that's what he's known for. Um, you know, I, I, I watched the game the other night, and I think he had a triple-double. He had, um, you know, something like um, – you know, 22 points and 10 rebounds and 10 steals. Um, so defensively, uh, he's definitely made his mark, and um, you know he'll he'll present a, a great challenge to us, uh, not only offensively but defensively also. Coach, uh, you decided to start the game with Brandon on the bench today. Um, is it just a matter of just figuring out the lineup you want to have, or do you play the matchups? Or no, you I, I, you know, we Brandon's been hurt. And he really hasn't had a lot of practice time uh, because of his knee. Uh, so a lot of things that, that we do in practice uh, in terms of the plays that we run and, and you know, just the familiarity with the players that are out on the floor, um, he hasn't had that much practice time. So consequently, I just tried to put a unit out there at the start that's had some practice time together and kind of know what to do and what not to do.